Grenadian health officials say they are keeping a close eye on what is now the world's second largest outbreak of the Ebola virus disease in the Democratic Republic of Congo and have raised the alert level to guarded. The World Health Organization has declared the outbreak a public health emergency of international concern but advised there should be no restriction to trade or travel. Health Minister Nicholas Steele, speaking to us via telephone, says they have reactivated infrared fever sensing system at the airport. Our areas are right now at our ports of entry, so Point Lean, Lomar's Bishop International, um, as well as our cruise ship terminus. With respect to Mars Bishop International, we have um, reactivated our um, infrared cameras at Mars Bishop International. And we have a little time still we're working with Port Authority for the cruise ship season um, with respect to there. Um, and similarly for Karakou port entry. But it is an increase in surveillance um, that may be noticed by members of the public. Everything else is behind the scenes with respect to um, getting the isolation areas dusted off, so to speak. He added quarantine facilities have also been prepared, but would not cause any discomfort to travelers. We have made sure we've gone further. In fact, I think we are the only OECS um, airport, international airport, that uses the infrared camera system. Others may have, but I'm not aware of them. Um, but we have installed infrared cameras, so we, it's, 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 it's not in your face with a nurse pointing a thermometer or taking people's temperatures and so on. The health ministry acting on what it says is sound advice from its local, regional and international public health experts assures the Grenadian public there is no immediate threat of the Ebola virus on the Tri-Island at this time. That type of additional surveillance is being done. If a Grenadian citizen is returning from one of those zones, or an individual is coming from one of those zones. So we've communicated with SGU as well, um, because SGU has both students and, and um, professors, and so that, that may interact or may be living or have family in states or, or close to those zones. But they are being monitored anyway through the other international ports that they will have to traverse to get to Grenada uh, on top of our additional monitoring. The ministry says it is confident that its public health response strategies are among the best in the region. In November last year, Grenada became the first OECS country to complete the International Health Regulation Joint External Review of its National Public Health and Disaster Plan. Eugenia Peters, GBN News.